Slices are a new way to filter large amounts of data in a pivot table report. They're easy to create, easy to apply, and easy to understand. And easy is typically not a word that comes to mind when we're talking pivot tables. Let me show you how I work with slicers. When I click anywhere in my pivot table, I have access to the pivot table tools. I'll go ahead and insert some slicers. For every pivot table field I include, Excel creates a separate slicer. The three slicers I selected appear in layers on the worksheet. That is not a problem. I can rearrange the slicers as needed. I can even display the slicer buttons horizontally if I want. Whenever I click a slicer, the slicer tools become available. Now I can change the placement of the buttons. I only have two buttons, so I'll use two columns instead of one. I can also resize the slicer. When I resize the slicer that's in the way of my data, I get scroll bars, so I can still go to items that aren't visible anymore. To change the look of the slicers, I can apply a slicer style. Now I'm ready to start filtering. In the country slicer, I click Canada. When I click a name in the salesperson slicer, only data for that person will be shown. However, if I hold down control, I can filter by more than one salesperson. And finally, I want to see the numbers for quarter two only. Notice that all items I selected are displayed in the pivot table. Also, just by looking at the slicers, I'll know exactly what data is displayed in the pivot table. If I want to show all data again, one click in each slicer restores the data to the pre-filtered state. With slicers, I can instantly see if my data is filtered. I really like this new feature.